All right, so we're going to talk about types of lights. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got three different lights here. All moving lights are intelligent, but not all intelligent lights move. Exactly. Sometimes people get confused because they hear terms like intelligent, moving, and so just let's just talk about this for a few minutes. Yeah, and at the end of the day, some of these are just terms, so we don't yeah. ever have to be specifically exact about this, but it's like you said. So this will be a moving light. This is obviously not a moving light, but we'd still consider this an intelligent light because it has circuitry in it, it has multiple features to it. You know, uh, the, the comparable term, the contrast term, would kind of be a conventional light. You have intelligent, you have conventional. The conventional is going to be a fixture that just has a bulb in it that we're sending you know, voltage through to make it come on. An intelligent light is pretty much anything else that has more features to it that you have the ability to control. So which one of these lights is smarter? <laughs> <laughs> I can guess. Good, good question. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. Um, but each one does have its particular application. Absolutely. Like you don't always have to think in terms of, gosh, I have to have a big moving head on every fixture that I want because Definitely. different things have different purposes, right. different applications. Absolutely. I mean, if you want to get down to the practical side of it, you kind of want to use the cheapest, smallest fixture you can to accomplish the job correct correctly to leave more resources, you know, in your budget to do uh, more things. Um, but yeah, you know, this is a you know, this is obviously be considered a moving head. Uh, because as I'm moving it here, you can see the entire head moves. Yeah. Um, so this will be mo both an intelligent <clears throat> light and a moving light. Um, so I'm sure all of you have seen uh, fixtures with mirrors on the end of, end of them before. That's still a moving light, but we would call that a moving mirror or a scanner fixture instead. This one specifically would be a profile uh, moving light. Now there's, you know, lights that have um, a hard edge to them, similar to the ellipsoidals we've talked about in another video where it's going to put out a spotlight, you generally have two categories. You have profile and spot. And this is not um, gospel manufacturer to manufacturer. But for, for the most part, what makes a makes it a profile or a spot fixture is the presence or the absence of framing shutters. You know, we can't, in this one, I can pull the top off and we can look at it a little bit. Oh, that's cool. You can't see completely down in here, but this one does have a framing shutter module, similar to what we saw in the ellipsoidal earlier, where there are, uh, you know, frames that can come yeah. in and block the light off as you need to. So this would be considered a profile fixture, where the absence of that would be a spot fixture. Um, you know, I'm sure your next question will probably be, well, why do you not just put it in all of it? Usually if you get rid of the framing shutter system, it does two things. It decreases the price of the fixture, and then it also gives you the ability to add in some other extra features that might be more important to you, such as additional gobo wheels or something of that nature. So in this particular fixture, what other anatomy are we looking at here? On the front, you have two movable lenses. So you have one for focus and one for zoom. You know, focus being uh, the ability to put a sharp edge on the light, or if you have a gobo in the light, the ability to see the, that gobo in focus or out of focus. Zoom is going to be controlling the size of the lens and, or the size of the output of the light, and we'll get into that a little bit more in another video. Go a little bit farther down in here, this is the framing shutter module. So this is where you're going to have the different shutters that can come in independently or all together to frame down. And then you start getting into your color mixing, your gobos. Just about every profile or spot mover nowadays is going to have both a color mixing system where you can mix in any possible color you want using cyan, magenta, and yellow flags that have gradiated color in it. So the, the more it's in front of the beam of light, the more saturated the color. As it moves out, you have a much less saturated color. Then you also have a fixed color wheel where they've picked seven, nine, ten, however many they can fit on their different colors that, you know, a lot of times these are colors that because of the source of the light, maybe you have a little bit of difficulty mixing with the color mixing system. Uh. In the cases of, uh, you know, when they're, most fixtures are still arc lamp, and this is an LED fixture. In the cases of arc lamp fixtures, uh, sometimes getting red was difficult out of the color mixing system because of the, the gases in the bulb didn't produce the spectrum of light to be able to produce red well in a normal color mixing system. So you almost always had a red color on that color wheel that was specifically made to work well with that light source to produce red. Hmm. Um, we also see a lot of uh, color correction features. So, you know, being CTO or CTB that we need for making the color temperature of the light look the way we want. Um, you know, things like minus green, which helps take some green out of it if you're in a very video heavy environment. So you don't see that. And then a lot of also, a lot of uh, modern uh, profile movers also have their own color temperature channel and chip in there to be able to specifically just dial in color temperature for what you want. Okay. This guy's a lot smarter than this one. It is, yep. So for the most part, any type of large moving head, intelligent fixture, 
this is going to be a very similar setup. We're just taking pieces out and putting different pieces in. Very similar. And that's, you know, it's brand to brand, manufacturer to manufacturer. You have a lot of the core things that the most common things that change are what is your lamp source? Yep. And then what are the specific fixtures you have within the light? Now, but that's with profile and spot movers. We also have wash movers. So, you know, I've got a, a Martin Ora sitting over here, which is a great but very basic type of wash mover where, you know, we, we don't even have the ability to pull off the head of this because it just doesn't have all of this. Yeah. When I, what makes this a wash fixture is that you don't have that nice spot look to it. You have a soft edge of light, similar to before when we talked about ellipsoidals and fresnels. This would be the equivalent of the ellipsoidal. This would be the equivalent of the fresnel or the uh, power. We still have the ability to tilt and pan mm -hmm. and change colors. Mm -hmm. It's just a softer edge, less controllability in terms of that aspect. Exactly. No gobos, you know, fewer features, but some of the same. Exactly. And this is, you know, this is, a, like I said, a very functional but a very basic uh, example of a, um, a wash moving light. We also have some other wash moving lights that are more similar to what you see here, but, you know, you're still, you're never going to have gobos in a wash moving light. Um, you know, you may have a similar color mixing system. You may have zoom. You may have iris. Um, there's even a, a, some fixtures I know of, of watch fixtures that have framing shutters in there this, that you'd use. Um, they work like the framing shutters in a profile fixture, but the effect is almost what we'd get from a Fresnel with barn doors, where you have the ability to shutter it off some, but because it's that wash soft edge fixture, you're never going to get that hard cut the way you will with a spot or a profile light. Got it. And as far as price goes, we have a big range too. Like these can be a hundred dollars. Yes. Yeah. Lights like that can be hundreds to low thousands. Mm -hmm. And then these can start in the hundreds even? You, you can. You know, there are definitely some um, budget-friendly, yeah. uh, you know, might, you might even use the term DJ level yep. uh, profile movers. They're going to be in the hundreds up to the tens of thousands. Yeah, cool. 